believe it or not, when a preacher is getting ready to preach, the house be set. Let me say it again. The house be set. See, see, when you come to church dead, you can hurt a good preacher. Amen. You can hurt him. See, when a preacher walk in fire, it's just getting where you need to be. That's why, that's why the choir singing, their job is to, is to, is to, we call it breaking up the foul of ground. So I can come out and just plant the seed. But, but, but a lot of times you see me when I don't feel like the house is where I want it, I sing my own song. But when I'm doing, I'm trying to get where I need to get to. So I can do what I have to do. But, but if you really trying to help me out, before I come out here, it ought to be some shouting going on. Before I even get in the church good and see what happens, I'll feed of that anointing. See, your praise is like sick them to a good dog. Y'all ain't heard no know what I'm talking about. I got some hummers here. I know if you tell Blue sick him, he just, he go crazy. And you tell him sick him, right now. And so when you when, when we work together, this is a, this a, this a partnership. Yeah. It ain't my job to make you feel good. No, you ought to be able to look at how God has kept you and feel good. Amen. But when you come in the house, you're supposed to come in worshiping. And when I walk out, I'm supposed to walk out in the midst of worship. And when you worship God, guess what happens? My anointing began to move. My revelation began to work better. Work better. And there's a place to prove it in the Bible. The Bible says, they asked Elijah prophesied. And Elijah said, bring me a minstrel first. And let that minstrel begin to play and sing. And when the minstrel began to play and sing, the anointing come over Elijah so he could prophesy. Y'all want me to feed y'all? Y'all got to say something. Y'all can't okay. just sit there all day. Y'all got to help me do Jesus. Y'all got to give me something to work with. Y'all got to show me that you love the Go get it, amen. Amen. See, we are flesh and spirit. We're, we're flesh and spirit. So when you come to church, you can't be in the flesh. You got to get in the spirit. Because in the spirit is the only way we can worship God. Can I prove it to you? John 4, they that worship me must worship me in what? That's a realm you must get in. In spirit. And in truth. You can't be in the flesh in him. No, you ain't gonna be no him. You're gonna be pulling the battery down. Amen. You got to get in the spirit if you're gonna help us in here. Let's read Genesis 12 and 1. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, from thy kindred, from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great. Thou shalt be a blessing. I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee. In thee, look at that, shall all families of the earth be blessed. In thee. It's in thee. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken unto him. Notice how did he depart? As... The Lord has spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. Yeah. And Abram was 75 years old when he departed out of Haran. Mm -hmm. And Abram took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son. All the substance that they had gathered, all the souls that they had got in Haran. The and they went forth to go into the land of Canaan. Uh -oh. And into the land of Canaan they came. Yeah. You may be seen. I want to talk about walking by faith. Walking by faith. By faith. Walking by faith. My brother and sister is very critical that we understand the land.
life of Abram who became Abraham. He didn't start off Abraham. He started off Abram. There can never be a solid understanding of the New Testament without a clear understanding of the life of Abraham. You're going to struggle with understanding the New Testament if you don't learn about Abraham. Abraham is connected to the New Testament in such a way he is used over and over and over again. Abraham, Abraham's genealogy is in chapter 11 of the book of Genesis. He is born out of the line of Shem. That's important. Because Jesus is in the same line. So when the promise said, unto thee all nations shall be blessed. It was pointing to Jesus. But you don't know it until you read the nations. If you be Christ, you're Abraham's seed. And heirs of the promise. Talk to me if you're somebody. So he was out of the line of Shem, the father of Terah. Genesis 11, 27 says that Abraham had two brothers, Nahor and Haran, who had a son named Lot. Of course, history says that Haran died before Abraham started out to the promised land. And Abraham took Lot under his wings. Being his uncle. It is important to note that Abraham is a pattern, a paradigm, or a paragon for the believer. He exemplifies the simple faith in God that is rewarded. Notice, he exemplifies the simple faith in God that is rewarded. Listen to me. God don't want you to do nothing but believe. Let me say it again. God don't want you to do nothing but believe. Let me say it again. God don't want you to do nothing but believe. But here's, the, here's how it works. Faith without works, talk to me somebody, is dead. So wherever there's a real faith, there's going to also be some real, help me in here somebody, some real work. He, he, he just simply wants you. Abraham was the type of guy God said, Abraham, go left. He went left. God said, Abraham, go right. He went right. He, he just believed what God told him. Watch this. Even when God asked him to do something, Genesis 22, that really didn't make it counter, it counted against good sense. Take your son up and offer him as a sacrifice. Yeah, yeah. Watch this. Your only son. Oh, yeah. Isaac. Take him up and offer him as a sacrifice. Yeah. That don't make no sense. Yeah. But the Bible said Abraham was strong in faith. Yeah. Hear me out church. Strong in faith. Yeah. He staggered not at the promises of God. But it through unbelief. But strong in faith. He took Isaac up. Yeah. And the Hebrew writer Hebrew writer said, here's what Abraham believed. That even if he killed Isaac, God had to raise him back up. Because he had already promised him that his seed would bring forth as the sands of the seashore and as the stars of the heaven. My brother and sister, that's some faith right there. The question today, the key, no, the key to him right, is that he believed everything God told him. But here's my question to do you believe what God tells you? Do you really believe what the Bible says? I wish I had time this Sunday. But if you believe what the Bible says, you would never talk about your enemies. You would never be bothered by those who don't like you. I ain't got no help. Let me try to talk to you folks. I said you would not be talking about who don't like you. What they say about you. I'll make your enemies, y'all ain't talking to me, your footstool, the 
What does that matter? When God is on your side, I just need my two of y'all to believe it. He's more than the whole world is against you. What are you doing at home worried about what Negro don't like you? What they said about you? You ain't got time for that. You ought to be on the wall working, saying, as Nehemiah, I ain't got time to come down and deal with no foolishness because God got Oh! 
crossing out? Why can't you encourage somebody else? Why is it that you still need to be encouraged? You ought to be encouraging somebody else, saying what he's done for me. I know he's able.
at some point in time. And we discovered not only can you not be God given, you can't be God taken either. Do I have a witness? God will give his. Whether you give it freely or he take it his way. Yeah, that's why the air conditioner stopped working. That's why the engine went out on the car. Tell me somebody. You, you, you mix God money with your stuff. And it curse your stuff. Y'all want to talk to me. He received the word, but second, the watch this here. He responded to the word. See, Abram, Abram heard God. God said, Abram, leave your country. He didn't sit around and said, you know, God, I'm, I'm attached to my folk. Uh -huh. I don't leave, you want me to leave my kid for? Yeah. You ain't even telling me where you want me to go? You just want me to go? Abraham received the word and he responded to the word. Y'all got to get this because so many people are not getting the results they want and they're giving up on the church. Uh -huh. I've never heard people say, I tried that church stuff before, man. I don't do that no more. I tried that church stuff before and I don't do that no more. I tried. They gave up on church. Why? Because they were hearing, but they weren't doing it. They were learning, but they weren't living it. Are y'all going to help me? And it won't work for you until you become a doer of the word of God. Are y'all going to bless God? He received the word, he responded. But not only the exit of the servant, he leaves. But then look at the expectation of the servant. Now this is so important today. That you don't expect nothing that the word don't tell you. You should expect. Watch this here. And you should expect everything that the word tells you. You should be expecting. I want everything God told me. I, yeah. 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 I want to have peace. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You know, folks, are well, you know, we're just living in trouble time. You know, uh, 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 you know, everybody got issues, and no, no, I'm not having, I'm not having no issues. I'm gonna have peace, and I'm gonna get in the Word, and I'm gonna walk with God in a way that I can walk in the peace of God. You have no business being worried. You know, I'm putting my finger on you. You have. Expectation. 
He had a Bible expectation. Somebody shout a Bible expectation. Look what God promised him. He says, look, and I will make of thee a great nation. Abraham said, okay, you're going to make me a great nation. That means I got a whole lot of folk coming out of my son. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He said, I'm going to bless the other. Yeah. I'm looking to be blessed. Amen. I'm going to make that name great. I'm looking for my name to be great. Amen. And thou shalt be a blessing. Amen. He says, I will bless thee that bless thee. Bless them that bless thee. And curse them that can. It's all right. I'm going to get his protection. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because he's going to bless them that bless me and curse them that curse me. Yeah. I got his protection. Yeah. Watch it. You know you got God's protection. Yeah. 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 You ain't got to walk around trying to get even with folk. Yeah. If people really knew what was coming for messing with you, after they done you wrong, they track you down. And come tell you I'm sorry. Because you'll never get away messing over one of God's children. Y'all ain't helping me in here. They may not say nothing. They might not fight. They may not defend themselves. But one day, you got to deal with God. You gonna have to deal with God for messing over these people. That's why it's best to try to treat everybody right. Because you never And that's a promise from the believer's life. God says, whoever bless you. Some people don't know. You know, you know, you some places are blessed because you are there. Some jobs you work on. The only way, the only reason God keeping the doors open because you did. Y'all don't believe it. Let me show it to you. Favor was blessed because of Joseph. Because he had Joseph on his team. Yeah, yeah. He was enjoying the dividend yeah. of having a man of God on his team. Yeah. And Pharaoh figured that thing out. You know what? He didn't even count his money. The Bible said Pharaoh didn't even know how much wealth he had. Yeah. You had to ask Joseph how much money he had. Yeah. Because Pharaoh figured it out as long as Joseph is here. Joseph, God gonna make sure that we have more than enough. I gonna tell you, some people talking crazy on the job. They don't know if you leave that plant gonna shut down. I wish I had some here. The only reason it's open because God got some believers on there that He's got to take care of, so He's letting the wicked be blessed because He's keeping the believer. I wish I had time. Here's what his expectation was. Yeah. Number one, he expected seed. That's why when Abraham's wife Sarah was barren, he argued with God. He said, you promised me seed. Watch this. When what God promised him looked like it wasn't going to happen, he went to God. Ooh, that's powerful. What did he do? He took God's word and reminded him of what he had promised him. Y'all listen to this. If, you, if there's something you like it and God told you that you were going to get it, when you pray, you need to remind God. You see, you told me that you make a way out of it. You promised me. Listen, God loved it when you remind him of what he told you. Because when you remind him of what he told you, what you're saying is I believe that you told me that it's going to come to pass. Yeah. 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 Abraham's wife couldn't bear. He said, you, you told me my seed would be as the sands of the seashore, yeah. Yeah. as the stars of the sky. My wife, my wife is barren. And so Sarai started to act out of faith and said, well, you know, I can't bear Take his, take my handmaid and sleep with Hagar. 
And Abraham said, I thought you would never ask. Not ever this not anybody. <laughs>
thou shalt be a blessing. Oh, y'all got it. See, in one place he was looking for a blessing. But when he got the blessing, now he expected to know. Be a blessing. Let me say it again. One place he was looking for a blessing. When he got the blessing, now God says, I'm going to make you be. See, the problem with most of us, we shout over getting the blessing. But God wants you to be just as happy to be. I don't know about you. It makes me feel good to be able to be a blessing to somebody. The other day I was in, I was in Samuel, Samuel 2 1 out in Chapel area that Cameron Road. I met, met a young boy that I've had some interaction with. And, and uh, he was working. I said, man, Paul, I'm glad to see you working. Put my arm around. I said, man, right, man you look good. I'm glad that. When, when, I, when I met him the first time, he was about 13. He had pretty hair. I used to make him rub his hand in my head. I said, rub my head so God will give me waves that you got in your head. He would fall out of that. Every time he would see me, he said, ain't working, though. I said, keep trying, man. We got to keep trying. You got some pretty hair, boy. Oh, you got some pretty hair. I mean, he had just waves. It was just pretty. And so, so I saw him working. I said, man. Man, boy, I'm glad to see you. Because he was one of those kids that people thought were going to turn out with. Right, right. Had a free, can't give up on the phone. I put my arm around him. And as we walk, I looked him in the eyes. I said, man, I love you. It just come out of my spirit. I looked at him. I said, I love you. He walked me all the way to the other eye. We was walking like this and talking. I got my arm around him. When we got around to the other eye, I heard the Holy Spirit say, bless him. I said, I said, give me $20 to her. Luckily, she had it in my pocket. I said, I knew it was the Holy Ghost. For my wife to have $20 in her pocket, that was the Holy Ghost. That was the Holy Ghost. She gave me the $20 and gave it to her and put it in his hand. He said, he said, how your son doing? Asked me about Trey. I said, man, Trey doing good. Trey doing good. I said, man, listen, I want you to know I love you, man. Keep working hard on me. It's going to pay off for me. Oh, yeah. He said, I want, he said, I want me a car now. I said, just keep working. Yeah. I said, that car is not closer than you think it is. Yeah. I said, just keep working. Yeah. But when I told him, I loved him. Yeah. And then I took the money and gave it to him. Yeah. It made me feel good. Oh, yeah. Because here I am. Be a blessing. Y'all listen to me. Some of y'all just don't know. When you become a blessing to somebody else, that's when God can trust you with his wealth. And if all you want to do is have it for yourself, God can't give it to you. He want to give it to somebody who will be a blessing. Based upon the promise, here's what y'all be saying. God, I want to be a blessing to somebody. Let me show you how you prove it. Start blessing where you are. You, you might give a $10, but that's right. Right now, if God can trust you to give where you are, then he knows he can trust you over more. But if he can't trust you with your little, don't even expect it. You're going to limit what God can do in your life because God wants his wealth in the hands of those who will be a blessing. Can I get all y'all to shout, Lord, help me be a blessing. I'm out of here. He says, I'm going to make you a spring. Watch this. All families of the earth are going to be blessed through you. Watch this now. Some things that God promised Abraham didn't happen personally in his own life. Some stuff going to manifest through your children. be some stuff God give your children because they are your children. Because you've been faithful. He's going to let no pookie get it. Y'all ain't missing to me. Abraham expected the seed. He expected substance. He expected status. He expected security. He expected to be a spring. Out of him others will be blessed. Lastly, not only the exit of 
the sermon, the expectation of the sermon, but lastly, the excursion of the sermon. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The next verse said, and he departed. Right. He, he started walking. Yes, sir. He put works to his faith. Yeah. Verse 4, so Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken to me. Notice, he's walking as the Lord. Look, as the Lord has spoken to him. Lot with him, Abraham was 75 years old when he departed out of the rain. He took Sarah's wife, Lot his son, brother's son, and all his substance, gathered all the souls they had got in a rain. And they went forth to go into Washington, the land of Canaan, into the land of Canaan they came. He's excursion, his journey, his track. One writer said, faith and works are inseparable. As the sun and sunlight. Faith is the sun. Good works are his rays. Yes, you can't separate faith and works. Yes, that's right, that's right. You believe God? Yeah. You gotta start making some moves. Yeah. You believe God will do what he promised. You if you really expect it, then you ought to start making some moves. Yes. The woman with this and blood made moves. She said, within herself, if I just can touch the heel of his garment, that's faith. Her reaching is her works. Another said this, a minister acts a professing Christian. Watch this. This professing Christian, he says, are you active in church? He said, no. He said, the thief on the cross was not active in church. And he was accepted. He says, have you been baptized? He said, no. The thief on the cross was not baptized. But he went to hell. The preacher said, do you partake of the Lord's table? He said, no. He said, the thief on the cross did not eat one time at the table. But yet he said, this day, shall you be with me in paradise? The minister looked at him and said to this professing Christian, the difference between you and him is that he was dying in his belief and you are dead in your belief. So many saints are dead in their belief. Yeah. They say they believe God, but yet they will not trust Him to do what He promised He was going to do. Yeah. Uh -huh. Unlike Abraham, Abraham walked by faith. Yeah. Yeah. All I'm trying to tell you this Sunday morning is if you believe God, yeah. then now all you need is some works. With your faith. Yeah. See on God work it out. Yeah. I know I got some people here who can join me and be a witness. Yeah. That God will do. Yeah. Just what he said. Yeah. He would. Yeah. Have I got a witness? Yeah. Oh, I wish I had time, but I got to go down, but is it anybody here know? He will. Just what he said he would. I ain't got no help in here. Let me try it one more time. He will do just what he said he would do. Is there anybody here trying him in the building? And you're not ashamed to be a witness that I tried him and he will do just what he said he would do. Sick before, and 
faith simply says, I can't see everything God is doing. But I just believe in my heart that uh, He's going to make a way for me. Uh, yes, if you don't got anybody in Pine Hill today, can say, uh, Reverend, I haven't received every promise He promised But uh, I want you to know uh, I'm still waiting.
Let's say it again. They were ready for us too. Amen. And if we will believe God, Amen. God will impute it yeah. unto righteousness. Yeah. Uh -huh. Walk by faith. So when you're walking by faith, you got an expectation. Yes, I'm not going to be down all the way. I'm not going to be broke off. I may go through some seasons yeah, yeah, yeah. where things are tight, but it's not going to stay like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I may go through some seasons when I don't understand, but guess what? It's not going to stay like this. I may go through some seasons where I cry, but guess what? I'm not going to cry all the time. Because the joy of the Lord Talk to me somebody Is my strength I believe when David discovered all of God's promises That's what made David become such a worshiper Because David is really saying to us A believer who really believes what God says You don't have time to do nothing but praise God Answered, there is a need for the church. Jesus said, Upon this rock I build my church. The very gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Paul says the church of Ephesus that God should give glory out of the church throughout all ages. We invite you to the church to share with us at Pioneer Missionary Baptist Church where we are reaching out to save the sinner, reaching up to glorify God, and reaching in to gather the saints.